Hey guys, we are back with another first impressions video for the Legion pre-patch PTR. Um, we're going to take a look at Warlock, and uh, I think I'm going to look at Demonology t uh, right now because, uh, you know, it just it seems like the spec that everybody's talking about. It seems like there's a lot of changes to Demonology, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. I know it's, uh, it's hot on everybody's mind. Will it be good? Will it be um, viable in a raid setting? So let's take a look. Full disclosure, this is a fresh 100 um, that I leveled recently. I, I've never really played a Warlock. Um, last time I played a Warlock was in BC, and uh, it was cool. It was what it was, but uh, I cast a few things here, and uh, that was pretty much it. So let's take everything off the bars. I was playing around before just to get ready for this. So let's take everything off, shall we? Uh, everything, everything, everything. As usual, we're only going to drag the essential stuff to the bars. We're going to take a look at it, the core functionality of the class, um, and then we'll go on from there. All right, so let's see what Blizzard says is our six main abilities here. We've got Shadow Bolt, ranged attack that generates a soul shard. You can see soul shards are back. They are here. Here they are. Uh, there's five of them, so that's cool. Doom, ranged attack that deals damage after a delay and generates a soul shard when it deals damage. Okay, that's a dot that uh, after it's... Dot expires, deals a bunch of damage, so that's cool. Hand of Gul'dan, ranged attack that damages all enemies in the targeted area and spends soul shards to summon wild imps. Okay, so that's cool, wild imps. I guess we're going to see what those are in a little bit. Alright, this is new. Call Dreadstalkers. Ranged attack with a cooldown that spends two soul shards to summon a pair of Dreadstalkers to attack the target. Alright, a little summoning action. little... Uh, shades of Diablo, maybe? Little shades of let's get some more pets in the mix. Um, I know that's what they're doing with Beastmaster Hunter, so maybe that's what they're doing with the Demonology Warlock. Demonic Empowerment. Spell that increases the damage done by your summon demons for a short time. Okay, so that's clearly our cooldown here, our offensive cooldown. Summon Felguard. Yeah, this is that big guy. He's here. He's back. He's awesome. Uh, summons a Felguard demon to follow you and assist you in combat. More powerful than most other summon demons. All right, cool. Let's check out our moves, shall we? Let's see. Banish. We know what that does. We got our speed increase. It's still here. Did they change it at all? Increase your movement speed by 50%, but also damages you for 4% of your maximum health every one second. Uh, so that's cool. I, I love Burning Rush. I think it's always been a, a neat-looking ability. Let's get that out of here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I've always loved the ability. It looks really, really cool. Uh, call Dreadstalkers. I want that on my bars. I can't wait to see that. Command Demon. Alright, so with my Felguard out, I have Felstorm. We all know what that one is, right? So we'll bring that on. We'll leave all this stuff off. Demonic Empowerment. We're gonna move to the bars there. That's our offensive cooldown. Demonic Gateway. Nah. Demon Wraith. Demon Wrath. Can't read today. Uh, cause your demons to cackle with demonic energy, dealing 31 or er, uh, 3100 shadow damage to all enemies within 10 yards uh, of any of your demons over 2.8 seconds. Castable while moving. All right, so let's take a look. So I'm gonna cast that bad boy. All right, so my demons pulse. All right, that's neat. So the more demons I have out, the more pulsing damage I do. So that's uh, that's a hard AOE. Um, that's that's built right in. Let's see if that's actually viable at all. Doom. We know we're gonna want Doom on the bar. Drain life? I'm not sure if that's part of the demonology rotation. I don't think so. I don't think so, but we'll, we'll keep it here just in case. A uh, bunch of old stuff. We all know what this stuff does. Like Eye of Kilrog, Fear. Let's bring Hand of Gul'dan in there. That's probably going to work with Demon Wraths a little bit. Health Funnel, Life Tap. Ritual Summoning, Shadow Bolt. Our trusty Shadow Bolt. Soul Stone. And uh, yeah, so we have the Summon Dark Glare. We'll talk about that in a second. We've got our Fel Guard out, we want to keep him out. We've got our big cooldowns here, our Doom Guard, our Infernal, that's not changing. And uh, yeah, again, a lot of really filler mechanics, filler abilities here. Uh, you know, our Gateway, our Enslaved Demon, our Summoning, our Life Tests, our Health Funnels. We still have a ton of that flexibility with the Warlock. Um, but the core is really small, guys. Really, really small. Are you seeing a trend in all this Legion stuff? There's definitely a trend. Alright, so let's take a look at the talents. 15 level talents. Shadowy Inspiration. Demonic Empowerment also causes your next Shadow Bolt to be instant. Okay, so every time I hit my offensive cooldown, I get a free Shadow Bolt. Okay, that's cool. Shadow Flame. Lobs the ball to Shadow Flame at the target, dealing 3400 damage. 
uh, immediately and another 5,000 damage over 8 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. Okay, cool. So let's keep that up, right? We got an 8 second uh, damage over 8 seconds and it stacks up to 3 times. It's a 14 second recharge though, generates 1 soul shard, so I, I, we'll see how that plays into it. And then Demonic Calling. Shoutable has a 20% chance to make your next call Dreadstalkers cost no soul shards. Now, I mentioned that the Dreadstalkers was one of our new abilities here. It costs two soul shards, 15 second cooldown. We're going to want 100% uptime on those, or as close to 100% as we can. It's a 15 second cooldown and they last for 12 seconds, so there'll be a little bit of a gap. But we want to make sure that we always have those soul shards up, right? Because that's going to be our max DPS. This is kind of cool though. Uh, our Shoutable has a chance to basically make that cost nothing and that's awesome because that's soul shards we could be dumping somewhere else uh perhaps hand of gul'dan i'm thinking i'm thinking hand of gul'dan let's see here uh so we're going to take demonic calling for now let's look in the 30 level talents we have impending doom doom also summons one wild imp when it deals damage okay remember uh doom does not deal damage until after 18 seconds 18.7 seconds to be exact so that's kind of a long time to get an imp but is there a faster way to get imps is that the fastest way we'll have to see improved dread stalkers call dread stalkers now also summon two wild imps this sounds like a no-brainer to me uh and i'm not a warlock so i don't know if i'm gonna call two dread stalkers plus with my demonic calling i'm gonna get a chance to get a free dread stalker so i'm getting two dread stalkers and two imps every 15 seconds for free basically if my procs are good if the rng gods are kind to me i'm gonna get all that for free every 15 seconds and then we have implosion here demonic forces suck all of your wild imps towards the target and then cause them to violently explode dealing 6900 shadow flame damage uh, to all enemies within eight yards so clearly our aoe ability um sounds cool but uh you know we'll take a look at that we'll see what it looks like but it doesn't sound like that's going to be my my rating talent but i could be wrong been wrong before all right, in the 45 level here, we have Demon Skin, Mortal Coil, and Shadow Fury. Uh, Demon Skin, your Soul Leech Absorption now passively recharges at a rate of 1% of maximum health every one second, and may now absorb up to 20% of maximum health. All right, we'll take a look at Soul Leech Absorption in a second as our passive. Mortal Coil horrifies an enemy into fleeing, incapacitating them, uh, and healing you. So this is clearly our leveling utility type stuff. And then Shadow Fury still has great application in a raid setting so we're going to want to keep that one around i'm going to keep that one around um i know that i'll be telling my raiders to keep that one around because it's useful but for now we'll take we'll take demon skin we'll take a look at that passive in a second all right let's look at some of this other stuff here hand of doom power trip soul harvest this is our 60 level talents hand of doom hand of gul'dan also now applies doom to all enemies it hits so remember let's look at hand of Do gul'dan one more time Calls down a demonic meteor full of wild devs, which burst forth to attack the targets for 12 seconds. Deals up to almost 5,000 shadow, shadow flame damage on impact to all enemies within 8 yards. Uh, it summons up to 4 imps based on soul shard consumption. So, 1 soul shard, 1 imp. 2 soul shards, 2 imps. 3, 3 imps, 4, 4 imps. You get the picture. Uh, but it's also an AoE ability, but that sounds like our big, 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 big soul shard dump. If we're not getting props off of demonic calling... Um, then we're going to have to spend two on Dread Stalkers, and we're going to want to make sure we have our two on Dread Stalkers, but we also are going to want to spend that Hand of Gul'dan. Um, it is, I don't think there's a, uh, a cooldown on it. It doesn't look like there's a cooldown on it, so that's going to be ready to go whenever our, our Soul Shards are there. Um, so that's awesome. Power Trip. Power Trip. Demonic Empowerment has a 50% chance to generate one Soul Shard when used in combat. Alright guys, Demonic Empowerment is a 1.4 second cast empowers your active demons with dark energies increasing their haste and health by 50 percent for 12 seconds this is boom done that's it okay they're empowered right they're empowered they're empowered and that's 12 seconds of them being empowered and awesome haste increased health increased damage dealt increased so this is really interesting there's not really a mechanic that's kind of like this in the game right now where you just you spend it and your demon gets buffed. And that seems like it's going to be part of the rotation. I'm going to move that over here. I thought that was going to be a longer cooldown, but that seems like it's a big deal. With Power Trip, that's giving us one Soul Shard every time I cast that. So every time I cast that, I'm supposed to be getting a Soul Shard. 
50% chance. 50% chance. Let me cast it again. Nothing. Let me cast it again. Nothing. Let me cast it again. Maybe my RNG sucks. Maybe I'm supposed to be in combat. I assume I'm supposed to be in combat. Um, so let's try. Let's just get in combat and see if that does it. Alright, we're in combat now. That's one cast. There it is. There it is. There's one. Let's see if I can get another one. Up, oh, RNG. There's another one. Let's get one more. And there we go. So 50%. They always say 50% here. Is it actually? Who knows? Who knows? So that's Power Trip. That's pretty powerful, right? That means more Hand of Gul'dans. That means more Dreadstalkers if our RNG isn't good or we're not taking Demonic Calling. Uh, let's see. So Dark Pact. Sacrifices 20% of your demon's current health to shield you uh, for 400% of sacrificed health. Uh, if the demon... If you have no demon, your health is sacrificed instead. Uh, this is a strange ability to have in this tier, considering... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing, guys. Ignore me. Sorry, Soul Harvest. Soul Harvest increases your damage and your pet's damage by 20%. Lasts 10 seconds, 2 minute cooldown. Um, each target afflicted by Doom. Uh, and increased by 2 seconds. Sorry, last 10 seconds, increased by 2 seconds. For each target afflicted by Doom. So... Everything's marked with Doom, right? If everything's marked with Doom and I hit Soul Harvest, I'm going to gain the base 10 seconds plus 2 seconds for every Doom with a maximum of 30 seconds. So my goal, heavy AoE fight, uh, I get Doom on all my targets and now I have 30 seconds of this increased damage to me and my, for me and my pet. Uh, tier 75, which I started talking about for a second there, is Dark Pack, which is that sacrifice ability. Burning Rush, which I'm taking. I mean, you, I'm all about mobility. You gotta have mobility. I don't think there's gonna be an encounter where I'm not gonna need to be mobile and I'm gonna need this big shield, but I could be wrong. And now Demonic Circle seems to be in here, allowing me to teleport. We all know what Demonic Circle does. We have Gateway though, so do we really need it? Probably not. All right, now we're on our Grimoires. Grimoire of Synergy. Uh, damage done by you or your demon has a chance to grant the other one 35% increased damage for 15 seconds. Okay, that's huge. That is a big chunk of change. Uh, Grimoire of Service summons a second demon which fights for you for 25 seconds and deals 100% damage, increased damage. It's a one minute and a half cooldown uh, and the demon will immediately use one of its special abilities when summoned. So an imp cleanses. Voidwalker taunts, Succubus seduces, Fellhunter interrupts, and a Felguard stuns. So, second Felguard for 25 seconds, 100% increased damage for a minute and a half. Grimoire of Supremacy. You are able to maintain control over the greater demons, allowing you to summon a Doomguard or Infernal as a permanent pet. So, no more pet upgrades, but Doomguard or Infernal instead. So, that's kind of cool. Our Doomguard, our Infernal. Uh, Alright, in tier 100 here, summon the Dark Glare, Demon Bolt, and Soul Conduit. Dark Glare. Summons a Dark Glare for 12 seconds that launches eye lasers at all targets afflicted by your Doom. Dealing about uh, 3,500 shadow damage. So that's cool. This eyeball looking thing. We've seen that in HFC hanging out in the uh, side hallway there. Our Demon Bolt here draws energy from your demons and launches a ball of demonic energy at the target dealing... Uh, almost 3,000 chaos damage, and damage is increased by 20% for each damage, each demon you have active. So the more demons I have, the more damage that's going to do, right? Now, maybe that's the single target, and this is the AoE because the eye lasers hit everything, but uh, this is a 24-second cooldown, and this is a uh, this replaces my Shadow Bolt. So that's kind of neat. So I'm going to go full-on demon build for this first run through here. And we'll take a look in two seconds. We're almost there. And then our last thing here is Soul Conduit. Every Soul Shard you spend has a 20% chance to be refunded. So if you're definitely eating through your Soul Shards and you're, you feel like there's a lull, um, this may be your choice, Soul Conduit. Maybe that's going to be more beneficial for you. So that's it. That's the talents. Let's look through it. Let's pick some stuff for this first run through here. I'm going to go with the Dreadstalker ability, the Demonic Calling. I'm going to stick with Improved Dreadstalkers. Uh, Demon Skin's fine for me for now. Ah, uh, in the tier 60 here. In the tier 60. So let's see. So Demon Bolt does not work with Doom. My Dark Glare does. So Demon Skin, or sorry, Hand of Doom and Dark Glare definitely going to be working together. Uh, Power Trip has a 50% chance to generate a Soul Shard every time I use Demonic Empowerment. So I'm going to keep this one for now. I'm going to keep this one. And then Soul Shard also works with Doom um, in giving us that buff. But so that talent tree right there that 60 level talents 
those are really really cool and those are those are going to be the ones I have questions about from some of these uh, theory crafters these guys that are really putting in the work um, just so you guys know I am not a theory crafter I am just a regular guy I am part of a guild called Exiled Power on Arthas uh, we are a 13 of 13 mythic guild we uh, raid twice a week and our whole belief is that we can be progressive and raid twice a week and have a good time doing it so that's my PSA and uh, I'm gonna keep this stuff burning uh, burning rush I'm gonna keep synergy uh, let's stick with the passive uh, increasing my damage done um, and giving my demon that same ability giving them the chance to get some damage done and then we'll keep demon bolt for now now let's take one quick look at our passives our passives here what do we got unending resolve oh that's not our passive that's our that's our uh, our damage reduction we know what that does right gives me a little a little demonic looking stuff there that's kind of cool is that a banjo on my back what is that oh it's just part of my staff it puts a circle over there um, all right so let's see our mastery here master demonologist demonic empowerment also increases the damage of your demons by 20.6 percent okay cool Soul Leash. All single target damage done by you and your minions grant you and your pet shadowy shields that absorb 10% of the damage dealt, up to a maximum of 20%. And then Soul Link. 20% of all damage you take is taken by your demon. Soul Leash also heals you for 5% and your pet for 20% of the absorption it grants. Alright, so we've got two defensive things here and then a straight up demonic empowerment, damage buff. So that's pretty straightforward. So here's the point, guys. The point is we want demon call or dread stalkers here. We want to make sure that demonic empowerment stays up, um, and then we just want to we just want to rip, ride, and rocket with this uh, hand of Gul'dan and demon wrath if we are in an AOE situation. So I'm going to switch these two for now. This is pretty straightforward. We'll do single target here. So here we go. Uh, we're going to send this bad boy in, and let's do it. So there we go. So I want Dreadstalker. I'm going to cast my Demonic Empowerment there. It's up. I've got three Soul Shards, four Soul Shards. I'm going to cast my Hand of Gul'dan. I should be getting some Demons here. And I'm going to cast Hand of Gul'dan again. My Dreadstalkers are up, except I just wasted the Soul Shard. There's my Demons again. Demonic Empowerment. Keep it up. And look guys, I'm, I'm burning through mana. I am burning through mana very quickly. Uh, I have no way of tracking my demonic empowerment, so I'm just going to assume I need another one. Let's cast my hand of Gul'dan, and again, I miss my stupid Dreadstalkers, so there's Dreadstalkers. I'm keeping them up, and we're going to town. We're going to town on this dummy uh, as best we can here. And there we go. There's three more, four more, five more, and a hand of Gul'dan. Let's make sure I have enough soul shards for this. And that's it guys this is really straightforward really 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 straightforward obviously with demonic empowerment you're going to be able to uh you're going to be able to monitor all that with weak ores and things like that uh, especially with doom um and all this stuff is going to be really easy to manage especially if you're uh, not used to a standard ui like me i am not used to a standard ui so uh let's look at some of these talent changes so let's change some things up you saw how that kind of full-blown demon uh, demon path went let's take a look if we change some things around let's take a look what should we change uh, demonic empowerment also causes your next shadow bolt to be instant let's try that out we'll take that let's take uh, let's take implosion which is our AoE let's go heavy AoE let's go heavy 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 AoE uh, let's see let's see let's see hand of Gul'dan We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Let's let's keep that, and let's do the summon dark lair. Couple new things on the chain, right? We got uh, our implosion and our summon dark lair. So we're gonna just start right off the bat. We're gonna hit our uh, summon summon our dark lair for 24 seconds, and we'll hit doom. Here we go. And let's go to town here. Oh, he's in passive. My thing is not attacking. There we go. And we're building Shadow Bolts. We're getting Dread Stalkers. We'll hit Demonic Empowerment. We're gonna get a free, we're gonna get a free Shadow Bolt. Boom! Free instant, or sorry, instant Shadow Bolt. There's our instant Shadow Bolt. Let's call down Hand of Gul'dan. And our Dark Flare's back up, so let's summon him. 
Oh, we also have Fel Dreadstalker, so let's get them out of here. And let's empower again. We're going to get an Instant Shadow Bolt. There's our Instant Shadow Bolt. And, uh, oh, there's Implosion. Boom. Boom. Just sacrifice all of my imps. Drag all of my imps towards the target. And uh, just absolutely destroy them. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So there's all my imps. Drag them in. Boom. Explode them. That's really cool, guys. Because it's not hard to get Hand of Gul'dan. It's not hard at all. But, again, look at my mana. Look at my mana. Boom. Explosions. Explosions everywhere. AoE damage everywhere. Um, is this going to be a viable AoE spec? AoE class? AoE spec? Who knows? You know, especially during progression, we're looking at these classes as if they're single target or AoE minded. And, and what does each raider need to be doing to make sure they're maximizing their efforts in a guild environment? And... Uh, you know, Demonology back in Warlords of Draenor had a little bit of a shine in the AoE realm, and now it's looking like it may have it again with this Implosion talent. Uh, that all depends on the theory crafters, what they come back with. If we're, if we're, Demonology is a spec to play for AoE, if, if some of these abilities like Improved Dreadstalker, Demonic Calling, um, really focus on the single target stuff, and uh, who knows, De Demonology Warlocks could be in a great place. It's definitely cool, it's definitely different. We've got a lot of the Shades of Diablo, Shades of the Necromancer in here. And I'm kind of glad they went back to that because I love having demons. I think demons are are if you're not playing with demons, you you shouldn't be a, you shouldn't be a warlock if you don't like demons because that's kind of that's kind of the whole thing about them, right? All right, guys, this has been my first impression of the uh, demonology warlock in the pre-patch PTR for the Legion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. This has been Kodiak. See you later.